Now, let's get back to the markets here. We've got a mixed picture. NASDAQ down, Dow up. There's not that much movement, but here is David Barnson. All right, David, uh, well, first of all, let me tell you what JP Morgan's saying. They're saying that 2022 will see a full global recovery, an end to the pandemic, a return to normal economic and market conditions. What does David Barnson say about that? Well, normal market conditions would be worse than the market conditions we've been having. That's true. Um, <laughs> That's true. But of course, I agree with them about the economic outlook for economic activity. The only thing I would say is that's not a result of the pandemic going away. It's a result of human beings becoming determined to get their lives back yeah. and live in the reality, the grown up reality that there's always risk in the world and that we did the very best we could to mitigate the COVID pandemic and that now we have to go forward, which of course is something, Stuart, a lot of us have been saying for over a year now, but I agree with JP's global economic outlook. Um, you're our dividend play guy, if you don't mind me calling you that. And you brought a couple of stocks with you today. Leondel Basel, I don't know how to pronounce it. Leondel Baal, I think maybe. They're a, a chemical and plastics company headquartered in New Jersey, I think. What's their dividend and why do you like them? Well, it's a four and a half percent dividend that they've grown double digits every year for over 10 years. And so that's why I love them. It's a high dividend with high growth. It's one of the rare companies we own that does have exposure to commodity price cycles. So the um, better oil's doing, meaning higher prices, the better Lyondell's doing because it makes their product more affordable, more expensive, because they really work off of natural gas liquids. Hmm. I like it, though, because it's well run, it's good capital discipline, and it's a high yield at a very profitable company. 5%, I'll take it. The Simon Property Group, I know something about them. I bought them at a high. They collapsed during the pandemic shutdown, and now they're back up again. But they've got a dividend of what? 4.4%, and you like them. Yes, this is one of the great casualties of me not being able to be in the studio with you during COVID so I could have talked to you yes. out of selling Simon property. <laughs> it got down to $50 and now is over 150 And the reason, Stuart, is they have great assets. And obviously, we understand what happened to retail last year when that panic was happening. But they're collecting 95% of their rents. They still have great brick and mortar. Those cash flows are growing. Uh, the dividend is up 19% from what it was a year ago. And so we just really believe that this is an example of, yes, we understand there's brick and mortar challenges, but they're repurposing a lot of these assets, more entertainment, more experience. And in the meantime, cash flows to dividend investors like us. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, David Barnson, thank you very much, sir. We will see you again real soon. Thanks, David. Thanks.